Documented problems in Wisconsin's maximum security prisons. Once again, the focus this week in Madison. It's been about a month since eight employees at Waupon Correctional, including the warden, were arrested and charged in connection with the deaths of two prisoners there. Now, two meetings are on the docket tomorrow. One is a public hearing about the conditions within the prisons. The other is to discuss inmate and youth deaths. Action News will be monitoring both of them as family members of prisoners continue to raise complaints about the state prisons. Brittany Schmidt talked to a local mom who plans to make the trip tomorrow just to tell her son's story and to get him the help she says he's not getting right now. So many. Molly Hayden's son, Chayton, is in prison for violating his probation after serving time for charges which include party to a crime armed robbery and taking and driving a vehicle without consent. He's been in the Department of Corrections custody since May of 2023. I just want to show you guys some of his complaints just from this year. She says her son has made continued requests for medical help. Can you please come see me? I didn't go out of Tuesday because I was so weak and sick. I'm still having serious chest pains and very weak and fatigued. It's one of the reasons Hayden plans to make the trip to Madison on Tuesday to talk to the Committee of Corrections during a public hearing. Hayden says the other reason is because her son was recently transferred to a pond a few weeks after a bombshell investigation led to charges against several prison employees. It was literally the worst place he could have ever been brought to out of all prisons. I asked him personally, what, what do you think's going on in there that it's being ran like that? He said, Mom, they are understaffed and overpopulated. According to online records from the Department of Corrections, last month, Wapon's vacancy rate for correctional officers and sergeants was 43%. Today, it's nearing 46%. Hayden says staffing concerns are troublesome for inmates and prison employees. Current and former correctional staff members are also invited to speak at the hearing on Tuesday. It starts at 10 a.m. Hayden says she will be there too to advocate for her incarcerated son. He's not asking to be released from prison. The, nobody is saying that. We are saying he just needs care. Also tomorrow at 10 a.m., a meeting for the Committee of Inmate Youth Deaths at the Department of Corrections. This committee provides the DOC secretary and facilities with an objective review of inmate and youth deaths to help improve quality of care. Action 2 News will be monitoring both meetings on Tuesday. I'm Brittany Schmidt for Action 2 News.